Can you hear that? <clears throat> so these divs are, sorry, these elements are nested within each other. And we've only actually set, even if they were nested within each other, we've only set the position on the div, okay? So that means that this div is going to be positioned relative to our browser. And that's what these arrows are, okay? This, that's just the, doc, the, the bounds of your browser. If this was nested within another div, <coughs> we set the position on that. And this, then the, the relative point would actually be the top left corner of that other parent. Okay, so okay. so we have we have two divs, one's nested within each other. This is today, and we set them all right. They all have position absolute, and they're all offset by ten pixels from the top and ten pixels to the left. Okay. And this is kind of backwards if you guys haven't noticed. Ten pixels to the left really means that you're right ten pixels more. That's kind of like there's ten pixels extra space on the left. It's almost like margin more than it is. On that. It's kind of like the x, y coordinates is what it is. So where do you guys think the b is going gonna, is gonna to appear? It's nested within this, so it's going to be within a. But where is it going to be within a? Right, from the top left corner. OK, so he said that it's going to be basically right here. And that's right. <coughs> So here is another one. And these are the CSS attributes that we're applying this time. Where, where is uh, B going to appear this time? Can you guys see that? The bottom right. From the bottom corner of 10 pixels to the right. To the yes. Right. Yeah, exactly. So that's exactly right. Instead of being from the, this corner here, it's going to be from the bottom here because it's using bottom and right as a reference point. Okay. okay, so let's look at absolute versus fixed. And I promise we'll have a, a break soon, so sorry for taking so long. All right, so here's an example. So the red box is, is position fixed, and the right box is position absolute. I know it's a little hard to see. So if we scroll, something is going to happen. Whoa. Okay. And where have you guys seen this before? I know you guys have all seen this before. Where have you seen it? Paul. Facebook, right? Yeah. Um, Facebook. <laughs> your your chat bar on Facebook stays put no matter where you where you put it. Okay. So when you do fix, you position fix. It's going to be position um, fixed to the dimensions of your browser window. Okay. When you do position absolute. It's going to be positioned to the top left corner of your of your document, okay, which is now above higher, right? Because you scroll down, um, and that's only if, if it's not inheriting from its from its parents. It's not related to your parents, right? But in this case, there's no container, and and even if there was a container, its position uh, isn't set, so it's just the top left of the document, right? So this is fixed in the other one. So now you guys all know how to do that one example of yours. I've already seen. And you can build the next Facebook and take over the world. <laughs> uh, no question on uh, absolute. Could you explain uh, relative to closest parent when its position set? I mean, if, the, yeah. if its parent does not have its position set but still has a position on the screen, um, where, where so, is it? Where the, is it absolute? Okay. Um, I mean, so, so yeah. Let me just clarify the term, all the terminology that you think. So when I say that the position is set, I just mean you define CSS position on the parent element um, as either being relative, fixed, or absolute. Actually, well, fixed would have matter, right? Uh, as relative or absolute. Okay, if you, if you set any of those things, and you have a child element, and you set the child element to position absolute, it's going to use the offset from 
from its parent, from that parent. Right. Um, and that, that's going to either be the top left corner of the parent, if you did top left, or the bottom right, or you know whatever configuration. If it's nested and its parent doesn't have its position set to either absolute or relative, it's always going to be to the to the size of your document, which which we saw here in this connection scroll, right? The top left or the bottom right, depending on how you how you set it. Okay, so in that case, it's possible that it could be outside of its parent. So yes, it could be. So it doesn't have to appear inside of its parent. So it's Any questions? Oh, go ahead. If you have a fixed element that's lodged within your browser window, will it be cut off, or is there a way to access it? Um, so if you were to, oh, you mean like height or width wise? Uh, width, sure. If you did width, and you did. Uh, like, how does the Facebook. Uh, bar, right, right. Bar always stay the same. Well, what they could do is they could actually set the width to 100%. Oh. And this is a kind of like a gotcha. The, if you look at your HTML document, the body, the body tags that you see where you write all your all your nice code in, that's actually an HTML element itself. And what that means is you can apply CSS styling to it. And a lot of times we apply things like background color or background images. Um, do that, and you'll see that on our current website. You can style that element just like any other element. So when you do fixed, uh, if you if you do a fixed bar and you set it to width to 100, it's going to inherit the width from that body element, and that body is actually going to scale just because the browser is defined that way. If you actually were to set the width larger than the width of your of your of your browser, you would be able to scroll. And um, I don't know. I mean, it's a little hard to, to figure out, but you should be able to scroll. You know, if you set it to some weird offset, then maybe that wouldn't work. Are there any other questions? Okay, so uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a break to talk to each other and work on the positioning worksheet. So there's a worksheet on the on the web that you can download and work on. I'll give you guys. Uh, about 15 minutes or 10 minutes to work on it. It's not too bad.